Hello everybody, welcome back to the Epic Flight Academy Private Pilot Ground School. My name is Mike Thompson. Now, to re remember, to have the most success with this course, don't just watch these videos. You need to watch these videos, study the online learning, and thirdly, review this content with your flight instructor. Today's lesson is all about stability and maneuvering flight. Stability is the inherent quality of the aircraft to return or correct itself back to its original flight path. Now, to understand more about this, where we have to begin is the aircraft itself. The aircraft has three axes of movement, or sometimes we say three axes of flight. Those are the longitudinal, the lateral, and the vertical. Let's look at them. Let's start with the lateral axis. The lateral axis of the airplane moves from a wingtip to wingtip. Now, it's important to understand that movement around that lateral axis is a fore and aft movement, or from the pilot's perspective, it's, it's like an up and down movement. Pilots call that a pitching movement. And that movement is, create, is, is controlled by the elevators. So, lateral axis, wingtip to wingtip, the movement is pitching and the flight control is the elevator. Now, the second one we'll talk about is the longitudinal axis. When we say longitudinal, think long. The longitudinal axis goes from the nose through the tail. Now, if you can imagine that axis, you can think of the airplane rolling left and right around that longitudinal axis. That longitudinal rolling motion is controlled by the ailerons. Now, later on, this will come back to us. But for now, just remember, we didn't say turning, we said rolling. The ailerons control roll around the longitudinal axis. The third axis is the vertical axis, and exactly what it, what it says it is. Imagine this axis going vertically through the center of gravity of the aircraft. So the aircraft nose is moving left and right in a flat plane. That motion is called yawing, with a Y, yawing. And that yawing motion is controlled with the rudder. So these three axes are of critical importance that we understand the axes, the motion, and the control. So let's review those quickly. Lateral axis, wingtip to wingtip. The motion is called pitching. The flight control is the elevator. Longitudinal axis, nose to tail. The motion is called rolling. The flight control is the aileron. And then thirdly, the vertical axis. Vertical through the center of gravity. The motion is called yawing. The flight control is called the rudder. Let's take a look at each of these three primary flight controls in a little more detail. All right, in this diagram, you see a picture of the aircraft from the rear, and you see when we move the aileron to the left, we're going to roll the airplane to the left by creating more lift on the right wing. Now think about that for a second. If the aileron on the right wing tip goes down, think back to our previous lesson on angle of attack. That makes a larger angle of attack. That makes more lift. That makes a rolling motion to the left. Notice the left aileron is going up. Okay, so aileron movement. 
ailerons to the left, the right one goes down, makes more lift, that wing rises, the airplane rolls to the left. How about a right turn? Exactly the opposite's happening. You roll the ailerons to the right, the left aileron goes down, creates more lift, it rises, the airplane rolls to the right. That's the first primary flight control, the aileron. It controls roll around the longitudinal axis. Now, let's talk about the elevator. The elevator, or the stabilator, and we'll talk about that in a moment, controls the pitching motion around the lateral axis. <clears throat> In this diagram, remember, the lateral axis went wingtip to wingtip. The nose is going up or down. It's pitching, and it's around the lateral axis. Now, there are two primary designs of the flight controls that control pitching. The first one we've been talking about is the elevator. If you see in this diagram, this aircraft has a horizontal stabilizer with an elevator attached to it. The elevator moves up, the tail moves down, which means the nose of the airplane moved up. If the elevator moves down, the tail moves up, which means the nose of the airplane moved down. That's the traditional elevator. Now, there is a second design for pitch control, and uh, it's also common in general aviation airplanes, and it's called the stabilator. Here's a picture of the stabilator. It works slightly differently. On the stabilator, the entire stabilator moves. Unlike on the elevator, the horizontal stabilizer was stationary and the elevator moved. Here, the entire stabilator is moving and is being pitched by the anti-servo tab. So, so far we've looked at ailerons and we've looked at elevators. Our third primary flight control is the rudder. The rudder, remember, yaws the airplane around the vertical axis. Take a look at this diagram. We're looking at the aircraft from the top and you see the picture of the rudder pedals. Imagine, as a pilot, you put your left foot forward on that left rudder pedal. You are actually moving the physical rudder to the left. Now, when that happens, the relative wind hits the tail and that rudder pushing the tail of the airplane to the right. And from the pilot's perspective, the nose of the airplane yaws to the left. So here's a couple of review questions to wrap up this segment of the lesson. What flight control controls movement around the longitudinal axis? And what is that movement called? Second question, which flight control controls the aircraft around the lateral axis? And what is that movement called? Our third question, which flight control moves the airplane around the vertical axis? And what do we call that movement?